I must have a passion for doing what I do because I don't get paid monetarily for it. And I would do it anyway, and I am doing it. And I love doing what I do. Now, I would like to begin to connect the dots with some dollar signs eventually, but I would still do what I'm doing because I feel that it's important for people, again, to know who I am, who we are, and how we can all, as Rodney King said, just get along. We don't have enough, I would say, communicators. We don't have enough people, male or female, or whatever their ethnicity may be, that are Muslim to cover our stories. And the unfortunate thing is some people are telling our stories incorrectly. They're misrepresenting, they're misinforming, they are saying things that are totally not true. And so for people, and they don't have to all be young, I mean, they could be retired. And I'm always looking for people who may even have had another career that may be interested in getting involved in the media to work with us as volunteers to start doing the research and uh, looking at who you are, where you fit in, what your life is about. Let me just give you this one anecdotal story about me. I was in Egypt uh, a few years ago and I was required along with the other people that were in our interfaith group to introduce ourselves. And I said my name was Zarina Shakir and I'm an African American Muslim woman. Well, one of the leaders of our group uh, who was taking us on the, um, the tours and to various meetings, she interrupted me by saying, oh, you have three strikes against you. And I said, what? And I start looking around at everybody else and I said, what did you say? And she said, you have three strikes against you. You're an African-American Muslim woman. And I said, well, wait a minute. It really depends on what game you're playing. I said, if you're playing baseball, you would be, I said, three strikes against you would take you out of the game. Yes. I said, but if you're bowling, strikes are in your favor. And I said to everyone in the room, I said, so folks, let's bowl.